Hello and good evening, everybody. Let's get it started. Need to jump in the voice chat. Sorry. There, we're in the voice chat, and there's Richard. Good evening. And there's uh, HMG. Hi there, buddy. Can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfecto. Actually, that's like the most perfect volume level you've ever had on startup, so... Nice. I haven't touched anything. I thought we already forwarded time to the next day before we saved last time. No. Because we still got two jobs to do before midnight. How long have you been on? Uh, I was on and then I got kicked off. Because time has advanced a lot. Yeah, you got on Tom's 5. Right, but I just logged on. Yeah, and I've time has advanced a lot since. Uh, I've been on for ten minutes. Yeah, this is more than what ten minutes should account for, but I guess. <laughs> um, what? Was this got stuff in it? Why is what got stuff in it? What's in the back of this trailer? And we got no we got no silo, so I can't dump it. Uh, you'll have to go over to the semi truck, which I've got. No, 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 no. Leave that. Leave that. Leave that alone. Just go across the road to the semi truck. It's parked over by 77, just down the road from you. Rather than driving all the way up there with that tractor. Bring your combine okay. across. Alright. I'm, I'm in it. But I can't do anything with it. No, not the truck. Don't bring the truck to you. Bring the combine across to the truck. Oh. The truck is set up for the bigger field. That I'm going to start on right now. Because we, okay. we got a boogie. I'm almost finished on this one. Yeah, good, because you're going to have to come over here and help me, because, like, hours of game time have elapsed, like somebody uh, else no, has been on. No, uh, it was at uh, 9 o'clock. It was half past 9 when I jumped on. Hmm. I thought it was, what? like, half past 8 when we got off last time. Maybe I'm just misremembering. No. What the... Damn it. I gotta log out. I'll be right back. Uh, stupid Serial dead zone's got... Whoa, whoa. What happened? I just got booted. Where's the... Yeah, I did as well. When I first joined, I got booted. Well, that's uh, fine, because I need it out. <laughs> oh, there's a the semi-truck over there. And I've just lost... And I've just got booted also. The hell's going on? Is our server having bit. issues tonight? Could I be. I don't know. I've been booted twice. I really hate it when my dead zones get reset. Mm. Did you have an update then for your steering wheel? Don't think so. But that Body. doesn't upset it. Uh, the, sometimes. The game updating does. Uh, but not always. There we go, it's back again. So, you think the server is actually crashing? I better mm. log into, into the oh, old G just... portal. Right, hang on then. Well, no, you keep doing what you're doing. I'm just going to go Chill in out. and look at the logs. Chill out, I'll just push the cancel button. Uh, up time, 6 hours, 34 minutes. So no, the server is not crashing. Okay. That doesn't mean it's not having connection issues or something. If it keeps giving us problems, we will restart it. Okie dokie. And by we, I, mean, I know, I mean me. We gotta sort you out with access one of these days. No, 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 that's way too much information. I'm gonna absolutely... You'll get on and you'll find out that all the files in your white goods have been wiped clean. 
No, no, no. I'm talking about access to the web control so that you can push the restart button. Not the full... Full kit and caboodle. Yeah, you'll still find it. I'll probably find a way to, to wipe your files. I swear I... I must have missed the dead zone because I still... My steering is still way, way bad. Right. I have backups. I'm not worried. We're going to get you in there so you can restart it too. It sucks being the only one with any kind of capabilities. Well, your, your management. What does that make you? Lackey. <laughs> I don't see you being anybody's lackey. I'd rather, I, believe it or not, if I was to change job, I'd like a job with the least amount of responsibility. Well, that I believe. Because I've had too much responsibility most of my life anyway. Alright, two, 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 two. Is he coming round? Is what, what? He's, moved. He's coming. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. I'm right behind you. I'm not driving. It's the AI. No, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm right behind you on the field with me pipe out. Oh. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Got me pipe out. Got me pipe. I might take you up on that offer. Oh, the editing software? Yeah. Yep. But uh, what I've done, I bought uh, the white version I've got is the 24, so I need to find a copy of 23. Uh, it'll let you download it. It's coming off of Steam, so just uninstall 24 and. Yeah, I got to install me because what it was is my other had had an update, which meant I lost my license, which is dumb. But just don't update this to 24. Yeah, I know. I've got, to, I've got to watch that. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. Look at it. It did work. Look at that. He's a good boy. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. I just got on your stream and left you a like. Hearing myself in the background made me remember. <laughs> Very low. What's very you low? Very... Well, I've got it on. That's is very low. I can barely hear it. Well. Wow. There you we know. go. All right, where is everybody tonight? Uh... Bored with us already? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, there we bored. go. That's my steering back to correctness. Oh. There we go. I'll just hit her, uh, a like bubble. Are you happy with your steering wheel now? I am. Nice I'm actually girl. going straight down the row instead of cranking my wheel and cranking my wheel and cranking my wheel and still going cockeyed down the roll until row mm. until I get like 15 degree turn before it even starts turning. Ah, and I screwed that up. I was Pardon me, I was going too oh, fast. Oh, well, I am having fun because my screen just went to my uh, window screen. Well, that's no bueno. Mm. With us having all these issues, I'm going to take the time down. Okay. Just this once. We'll put it on one until we're finished with these contracts. Because uh, we should not be having all these issues. Okay. I'm almost finished anyway. Yeah, but I'm only just getting started. Yeah, I got in a little bit earlier, sorry. Yeah, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> don't do that when I we're thought... time crunched. Oh. Well, I thought, I, I thought I'd my my. You're not tired already, are you? No. My back hurts. Oh, mm. your back hurts. Oh, what you done to it? Sat in the Did chair you... too much today. 
Instead uh, of, because okay. my desk is adjustable, I can stand up or sit down. And I didn't stand up at all today, so I'm paying for it. Uh, I was too focused on my work. It just never even crossed my mind. Hey, you might want to stand up for a while and give your back a stretch. Yeah. I'll get a non bum most of the time. <laughs> That's okay. I've got uh, Tylenol and a 12 year old scotch on the rocks. I, I almost thought you were going to say something else, and I thought, what? All in all, well, that's great stuff. You, you really want to have that with alcohol? Yep. As long as I don't overdo it, it'll be fine. All right. Your funeral. I do it all the time. And by all the time, I mean like once or twice a month. Yeah, so your funeral. I am surprised you don't get yourself a bat, a bat brace. Eh. Don't need it. And how have you been coping? How's life been treating you? Poorly. <laughs> well, depending on how you look at it. Well, so the twins are in the doggy version of the Terrible Twos, and they are just bound and determined to push every button and get in all the possible trouble that they can. <laughs> It's making me want to strangle them. And how's the big moose? He's excited, I think. Oh, no, he's not excited. He doesn't know yet. We're going truck a driving tomorrow. Oh, okay, so no thing on Sunday. Nope. Unless that I take my laptop with me. No, that'll be two weeks. All right. No, no, no. It's fine. That means we'll, we won't be doing it for two weeks. Well, depends what time I get home Sunday night, yeah. too. Because because the following week, I've got to do a day shift because it's Easter. And to get a bit of extra cash, I opted for the day shift on Easter Monday. Okay. Double time. I gotcha. Which um, means I've th been bed by just before nine o'clock on well, Sunday night. We can always do another time slot on that Sunday because I will be home all day if you want. No obligation or anything, of course. Uh, no, because I'm working the Sunday, you see, on days. I see. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm doing a three days and one night. <clears throat> but no, I should be home, as long as nothing goes wrong, early enough on Sunday to still do our recording just time. Just, just let me know. I will. I'll keep you informed. That's good. I can't wait until we get enough episodes recorded to actually start releasing those. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm trying to... Well, I was trying to put the first one together. I haven't even started trying to do that yet. I have... I have four or five episodes of Vintage to edit. And I have... Or had Hank to edit. The files are gone. No. Yeah, I have to go and re-record the whole thing from the beginning. It's a good thing I have a backup of my save. It is. It is a very good... It's very good that you got back up of your save. But it could change things, too, from what I did the first time, because, you know, as you advance through days, the contracts are generated. It, there's no guarantee I'll get the exact same things and stuff. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. So it could end up being a very different episode. I'm not very happy about it. I bet you're not. I bet you're not. I'd be... And I know exactly what happened. It was me. Oh. Okay. I was cleaning up old files and I accidentally deleted them. 
deleted them and didn't realize it until I went to edit them, and then it's like, what? what? Oh, okay. shit! <laughs> okay. so, so you don't have a delete recovery software because the image is still on your hard drive. Not, even though you've no, deleted. not on that drive, it's not. Really? Really, because I already put other files on it. It doesn't matter. There's yeah, it does. It's, it, trust me, it's not there. I already went and looked. There's like two of the seven files that I that are recoverable, so it's it's just not going to happen. Okay. Yeah, they're not there because I put so many other files on the drive already, and that's what prompted me to get those two new hard drives that I've been talking about on the Discord, so that I don't oh, have to. No. Uh, shuffle files around all the time. Fair enough. Plus it lets me have more games installed at a time. It's giving so me more options. I, I do actually have three hard drives. I have four counting my external now. No, I don't have an external. So I've got... I've why got not? Me, well, <laughs> I've got an old mechanical hard drive. Yep. I bought a new MM2 type hard drive. Yep. And I've got a very old solid state hard drive, which is my, uh, which is where my OS is uh, situated. So I have the M2 drive that came with the desktop. And I think that's only one terabyte, but I don't remember for sure. It might be two. Yeah. I have a 5 terabyte external drive that's brand new as of like 8 months ago. Mm. And now I have the two brand new 4 terabyte internal drives. Um, that are that are both SSDs. Um, have you got your pipe out? I do. Uh, that's why he's going over to you then. Well, what he's confused that? at the moment. What was what? The dog? Was that the dog? Yeah, it was the little one being grumpy. Almost sounded human. Sometimes he does. Sound like, almost thought he was a little child. They're uh, kind of happy today. No, he's going to you, because you had your pipe out first. That's why it took him so long. He's going all the way around uh, the field to go to you. He's going to go to me. Yay! Well, that's that field done anyway. I'm done with that field. Good. Reese, quit chewing on your brother's leg. Uh, the big dogs are are very happy because we went to Tractor Supply today, and oh. to get them dog food because it's the cheapest for their dog food all around our area. And uh, my, a dry, a, are you giving them a dry one? Always. Um, oh, okay. Anyway, uh, plus we get a discount because my girlfriend's oldest daughter works there part time. So oh, that's uh, nice. Yeah, so we get a family discount and uh stop it diesel and she calls you by your uh, main name yeah that's good <laughs> uh and um we stopped down the dog toy aisle and they had these Ooh. two larger than we normally get chewing tires and so we got those for uh, them yeah. they're about 10 inches across and about uh, three inches thick, maybe four inches. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, the dogs are in heaven with those. Uh -huh. Although, I'm surprised they didn't bring one upstairs. Maybe I ought to shut my mouth. There's too many things around here they can break with them. <laughs> yes. Maybe it's a good thing. And one is your neck. No. No, I mean... You don't realize it's there and you go, woof, and <laughs> straight over you go. Not going to happen. Never say that. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> I would never say that. Even I don't say that. I, I, I'm I used to tripping over the dog toys. You wait. I mean, it's a good job. Yeah, your dogs don't have anything spiky. That's intentional, because that stuff hurts. You step on that, and you might go down. <laughs> yeah. 
these it with just Lego. creates an awkward moment. Same with Lego. Oh, Legos are the worst. Legos and old-fashioned jacks. You ever played jacks when you were a kid? Uh, yes. I did, but we call it a different thing, bro. I forgot why it was called, but yeah, I know it. I mean, freaking metal jacks are basically a caltrop. Yeah. Really, driver? You're just going to park that rig right in my way right there? It's all right. I'll just I'll smash into your front end. I'll take it you, uh, you do it and you go one, then you got to pick up two, then you got to pick up three, then you got to pick up four. What are you talking about? Jacks. Oh, I don't remember how to play. I only ever played once when I was a kid, but man, did I step on them once in the middle of the night going to the bathroom. I was at we a friend's house Mar staying the night. Actually staying we, the whole weekend. Yeah, we used to play Marley's. Marbles. Oh, yeah. I never played that either. I had a lot of marbles, I just never played. Oh, well, I did. I mean, I bought an industrial uh, metal ball. to the cool ones. This thing was heavy. I bet. And we play who can get closest to the curb. Hey, do me a favor. Stop going across the field the short way. You're turning around too much. Go down the long way. Why? Because it's taking too long. You're turning around too much. It takes too much extra time. Always okay. go the long edge of the field. Okay, Kimo Sabi. <laughs> yeah, and there's this kid. He kept winning quite a lot of my marbles. Uh oh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this guy's cheating it. So, I, I, so when he does it, he, he, he puts down this nice, this nice marble. It looks really nice. And I think he writes, I'm going to destroy that. So I'll pick up this steely and I'll just whack it at this marble and I'll just completely obliterate his marble. Okay. With his steely and he cries. <laughs> terrible. You I'm are. Terrible. That's mean. I mean, this didn't come from a lorry. Okay, so it's not a marble, it was a ball bearing. Yeah, steely, what we call steelies. That, that's brutal. <laughs> uh, things you do when you're young, and it's the 1970s. When you're young and mean. <laughs> well, we're Gen X, mate. You know. <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't play sissy babies like they do today. No, I mean, they told you to. They told. I mean, your parents told you to go out and play. And you never came back until the sun went down. And woe betide your ass if the sun went down and you weren't home. Yes, there was that. Don't be late, even by 30 seconds. If it's dark, you get the belt. <laughs> mm, oh, it wasn't that bad. It could be. Depends on your parents. Yeah. No. I mean, I got arrested once. <laughs> For riding on the... Uh, on the freeway. Riding your bike? Riding your bike on the freeway uh, at the age of six. Nice. Yeah. Good job, Watt. Hey. Sorry? Good job, Watt. Uh, the police officer says to me, what are you doing on the motorway? I said, I'm visiting a friend. I thought this was the way. Because it's the motorway. Do, do you see the sign? He goes, well, I'm six. How do you expect me to read? <laughs> really, uh, Miss Reese? It's that bad, huh? Is she whinging or? Yeah. She's a. <laughs> she just looked at me like, "How dare you imitate me?" And Diesel came over to see what was wrong. <laughs> Hi, buddy. 
Hi, are you my big ox? Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. You like your new tire? You do? Yes. You're a good boy. You better be a good boy. You jump that Is fence it? anymore, I'm going to beat your butt. Is it a Tonka or a t or a t it begins with a T? Uh, it's called a mammoth tire biter. I meant I meant the person who made the manufacturer. Yeah, it's mammoth. Is the manufacturer? Oh, okay. Well, you never know. I'm just waiting for one day when they actually come come in with that, an actual car tire. Well, it's probably going to happen. It's probably not going to be a car tire though. It's probably going to be a trailer tire, and I'm probably going to buy it for them. And you just got booted. I haven't have I. Yes, you did. Richard H has left the server. And there I go yeah. getting booted. That's got to be a server issue. Yeah. Just stay out and I'll reboot this I'll stupid thing. I will do. Good thing I'm already in here. Yeah, you're always in there poking around. You know, this uh, is going to reset all of our progress, though. <sighs> yep. Uh, it's all good fun. Son of a biscuit see how, eater. We'll see how we'll see how far of the progress goes. There's no auto save turned on, so it's uh, going to lose it all. Oh no! Up to where you started today. Well, at least you can turn the uh, <laughs> call it down, so we can do it for a bit. <laughs> Uh, shouldn't need it if we're both starting that early. Yeah. Well, folks, it's back to the future. <laughs> it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it uh, is. Yeah. Uh, are we good to go? Um, it's I'm... up. Yes. It literally <laughs> just came up. Yeah, so it's up for me. So we're good to go. Come jump, jump on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, Here as go, good friend. as this twelve-year-old single malt double oak um, scotches, I can't wait to try the uh, twenty-six-year-old that I'm being given as a gift. That is going to be so nice. Whoa, whoa! Hey! Knock it off! You knock them trains down, I'm gonna whoop some ass! You know better! <laughs> you do not belong there! <laughs> Don't you look at me like that! I you give you me that defiant that. attitude and you're gonna go downstairs and get put in the room! Assholes. Uh... Now be nice and play nice. Do not throw each other across the damn room like that. That is not okay. I'm not yelling at I'm you, a... Reese. You weren't involved. You were laying down oh. and being good for once. <laughs> Diesel oh. threw Alexander about three feet across the room. Uh, by the way, it's 23-24. Really? Yep. So, did I turn autosave on and forget? I don't remember turning autosave on. Come on, load me in the last three fucking percent. I want to go. <laughs> oh, it didn't set us back much at all. No. I am shocked. I'm just wondering if I'm in... Yeah. Yeah, because it yeah, didn't set us back that much. Because you decided to go down the middle. And our other truck is right there. Well, knock on wood. Though, it was the big moose, was it? Well, he was the victim. Sort of. Uh -huh. I mean, he was playing just as hard, but... Diesel just bashed into him and knocked him three, four feet across the damn room. Mm. 
right into a stack that I, if I hadn't grabbed, the trains at the very top of the stack would have been smashing down to the floor. I mean, they're in their boxes, which do give them some shock protection, but... Yeah, it's not ideal. Can't wait until all this stuff is in the other room. The room? Yeah. The storage room. Instead of in uh, my office. Okay. I, I've been working on it. Although I won't be working on it this weekend, because I'll be out in the semi-truck. Yeah. And say I, we haven't seen anything of, uh, of any videos. It's... Too much effort, really, to record no, and that's drive. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. The batteries just okay. don't last. They only last about an hour, mm -hmm. especially in the cold. Well, yeah, of course. They, that's why all the. Uh... Oh, apparently there is a new engine being developed. Yeah, I heard you talking about that. It's a load of manure. Really. Yeah, it's a pile of garbage. What, the uh, compressed air one? Yep. This is my opinion, mind you. No no basis in fact. But I'm familiar with existing compressed air engine designs. It's not a new thing. Compressed air engines have existed for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Since World War II, I believe. Possibly even between mm -hmm. the two world wars. And... Yeah. You just don't get a lot of range. So they're just as useless as electric cars when the batteries get weak. Really? Yep. I thought with a tank, you know, I thought you'd get, you'd get at least a, a bit of a range, you know, like, like 300 miles. Which is useless. Four. I mean, the average vehicle... Uh, My car I mean, gets 450 on a full tank of gas, and it only takes me three or four minutes to fill up the tank to yeah, do that compressed yeah. air takes 20 minutes really yeah oh okay to get it up to that kind of pressure to go for that kind of distance mm -hmm. in that size of a tank yeah i'm i'm not impressed but i'm always open to changing my opinion if they magically make it you know better technology does advance yeah, it does. So, you know, maybe they'll surprise me. But I, I reserve judgment until I see it. Shippy, 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 shippy. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Be a good boy. <laughs> You're so funny. Come on. Come on. We know you want it. No, he's not coming towards me. Uh, duh, because we restarted the server. Hang on. Two seconds. Got to turn him back on. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, then. This way. Come on. Yeah, and hurry up about it, because I'm about to put my pipe out. And keep it in. We don't want to see that. Har, har, har. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been having a good day. I'm glad. I downloaded a free game on the PlayStation. Are you kids biting? What have I told you about this biting faces and legs and shit? Huh? Were these two going to the same place? These two yes. were... Yes. Have you got your pipe out? I do. Uh, that's because he's gone to you. No, he hasn't. I've got, I've got no one chasing him now. Come here. I've had my pipe out for quite a while. He's definitely going towards you. Doubt it. He's probably actually getting on the on the point again and then heading towards one of us. But we'll see. Because I see there he goes right now. Well, Is he going to come around the corn? I've stumbled back in. 
Well, don't do that, because that will definitely reset him and make him come to me. Always yeah, keep it out once you put it out, because otherwise you're just making him waste time. I got 50-odd. Oh, I'm at 100%, so... I oh, know, I'm on 50-odd, so there we go. <laughs> When in doubt, put your pipe out. Yeah, and you're almost finished. No, I'm not. So the upside of this is that it's going to our grain mill. Yes. So we'll be able to turn our corn flour back on. You will. And we've only got 16 grand in the bank. Where are you going, you plonkerator? He started backing up. Whatever, I'm done with him. He got most of an unload. There we go, stuck it out. And he's already on his way. I heard him start the truck back up. <laughs> are you on your last? You I are am. on your last row. Nice. You might actually have to come down here and help me catch the last one up. Boy, we shaved this close, didn't we? Mm hmm. Well, we had to wait for that weather. Yeah, that, that definitely kind of screwed us up. It did. And, yep, there's going to be plenty extra for you to come over and grab some if you would like. Yeah, just. It's just, uh, empty me now. Why empty on the go? <laughs> uh, like, like we had the problem, we were a bit too quick. Only on that one field for some reason. He's been emptying on the go fine over here. There we go. Oh, so yeah, re-recording Hank from the beginning. Mm. I'm sad about that. <clears throat> yeah. But it does give me an opportunity to do something correctly that I had screwed up the first time around. That's always nice. Okay. Yeah, just try and keep the music down. It's a little loud. Even after I started going down to 70% on yeah, the, uh, but, um, yeah. whatchamacallit, the... Mm, vintage. Yes. Yeah. And put some decent music on. I do put decent music on. I'm a metalhead. Mm. Don't even yeah. bother. It looks like I'm going to get it all on this swipe. Okay. Shall I empty into you? Ha 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 ha. You know, you should call the truck and I'll come around and empty into you. There we go. Got the truck. Okay. He's coming. He's a coming. He's a coming. Do, 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 do. Now I've got, there's a new mention somewhere along the line. Oh. <laughs> Whoops! No. We don't fit. Not like that anyway. I'm too close to you. Nope, no. even... Damn. I think I have to close, close myself off. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's about to come to me instead anyway. Yep, come on, buddy. This way. This way. 
Yo, there buddy, over here. Come on, turn left, turn left. Where are you going? Turn left. There you go. Your other left. No, no. Really? Where? Why do we always hire drunks? Um, I don't know. I think you're the one that's hiring them. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't be on the scotch while I'm hiring other guys? Yeah. That's usually a bad idea. <laughs> Right, so that's that done. Let's head south. Give this a clean, and you've got half an hour. Well, he's going to go straight there and deliver. As soon as the contract's complete, we're just going to go to bed. Get our night's rest and be happy. Be happy. I be happy, don't worry. No. Be happy now. <laughs> Big mouth Billy Bass. Uh, are you familiar with those? The Big Mouth Billy Bass wall things? Yes, I am. We we had one. Well, we, I didn't personally have one. But, yeah. And also, there was a... Uh, a lobster as well. I'm not familiar with the lobster. Yeah, there was a lobster. A wild lobster and never flounder. And then there was a Santa Claus. I thought the Santa Claus sang a different song. He did. Okay. He did. I'm just I'm just giving you the versions. But they all sang different songs. Ah, gotcha. So there was somebody that that uh, wired up like three or four of those big mouth Billy Bass to an Arduino uh, and made them sing a different song and that had multiple parts, different, you know, mm -hmm. multiple people singing different parts of the song at the same time, you yeah. know, like backup singers, right? So there yeah. was like one that was up top by itself. That was the lead singer. And then there was other ones that were down below, and they were the backup singers. Mm -hmm. And he he had written all the software himself to actuate them. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. And I was pretty impressed. That that looked like fun. Something I could do if I, you know, didn't have too many hobbies already. <laughs> yes, you have way too many hobbies. It's all your fault. Why? Because. As well, I don't know. I'm just blaming you to blame you because you know farming sim, <laughs> video gaming on YouTube. Even though you had nothing to do with it, I'm gonna blame you anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, fair enough. It took me long enough to to get the courage up to actually start doing videos. Turn off all the work lights. Don't need to be oh, blinding the neighborhood. I am what neighborhood? I'm driving down the road. Oh. Road? What road? Is there a road? Where we're going? We don't need roads. Name that movie. Which part? One, two, or three? <laughs> well, which one had that particular line? Well, that's, that's going to be the end of part one and the beginning of part two. <laughs> so name the movie. Black to the Future. <laughs> <sighs> Tree! That was close. I got blinded for a moment and uh, almost drove my harvester into the forest. He's, uh, he's our mate. In the truck. I gotta Is check on? on him because I'm worried. Okay. I am by the. He ain't going, son of a. Biscuit. No, bitch. <laughs> Get nah. your ass moving. <laughs> so, 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 we got. We'll go with son of a biscuit. Hot diggity dog. 
Hmm. I'm missing uh, one of those. I think he's downstairs chewing on the big new tire. Ah. Or peeing on the floor. Dep take your pick. Well, it's Mr. Diesel Ox. So. Peeing on the floor. I doubt it. Oh, okay. Although the little one's gone too. So the little one might have gone down there to pee on the floor, which could just be a problem all around. Even though I just let them out at like 6 o'clock. So it hasn't even uh, been two yeah. hours yet. They must have small bladders because that dog can go all the, the entire day without going out. It's just the old little man. He has I mean, the I weakest mean, bladder I've ever seen. Oh, outside yeah, right, of no, a cocker he, spaniel. He, he, I mean, he's an old dog, and I understand that fully. But I mean, the other dogs, I mean, they, they're, they're young, so they should be able to hold it. Oh, they, they can. Longer. They can go 10 hours. But they won't if he's going out. If he's going out, then they got to go out, too. Yeah. Oh, don't start that. Damn it. Yeah. Do what? You yawned, and you made me yawn. Mm, no, I did not. That was a figment of your imagination. <laughs> it definitely was not. I have it on recording. <laughs> Don't even try it, sir. <laughs> Do you have proof? That's what a recording is. Well, at least I got the same color. What? Yeah, I had fun. I had to get another trailer. Another what? I have to get another trailer because the trailer I, I, I was using on my video didn't work. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, the truck is almost there. He's getting close. And then he breaks down. I better double check the uh, contracts just to make sure. Grain mill and grain mill. Because that would have been bad if I was wrong. Yes. Very bad. Come on, buddy. You got 17 minutes to pull into this place and unload. It will take you that just to, just to get there. No, he's there. He's just got to get on it. Uh, can I that? Bill 38 completed. So, yeah, we got these two. Okay, that doesn't work. So I'm going to have to take over manually. Yep, that this is not be. set up for a semi at all. That was, is that is, uh, potatoes? That's another potato one. That's a big field, though. Got some plane contracts at least. Um, Houston, we may have a problem. What? Shit. Our grain mill is full. That no, is it's a not. Grain mill, then. And it didn't work either. I must not have turned that on. For some reason, it quit unloading and didn't complete the last contract. Hmm. Let's have a look. Uh, what? I see what it was. The truck was getting pushed out of the trigger somehow. Well, apparently, there's nothing in the corn. Yeah, because there's I apparently didn't have it turned on. That oh, the, okay. the mod. I thought I did it the other day when we were talking about it, but apparently not. No, and apparently... No, no. And you got enough, there's almost it'll almost hold a million liters. Yeah. Or, or over a million liters. Looks like nine million li liters. No. Look again. Or, or is that nine hundred thousand? Nine hundred thousand. Oh, fair enough. But of each uh, type, so grand total? A massive okay. amount. <laughs> All right, buddy, you want to do me a favor and 
in about two seconds hit the sleep trigger. Not really two seconds. I gotta put a our driver on to what's our field down there? Fifty four. Close enough. Now you can hit the sleep. So look, it's 52, 51, 50, 53. Must be 52 I was thinking of. But not 54 now. I'll change it real quick. 54 is on the other side of the road. It's a nice, it's a nice big field. Well, our truck's on the way back. Go okay, ahead and hit got sleep 29. whenever. Yep, we got 29 grand. Sleep till 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Yes, Kimo Sabi. There we go. Hey, what the hell? What? What's the matter? It's gone daylight and it kept coming up. Do you want to do a sleep trigger? Because I've done it once and it kept going on. Yeah. We can sleep anytime. Yeah, but it it come up again after I pushed it once and I clicked yes to uh, wake up. Then it popped up again. Hmm. I don't know. What I do know is that this corn. combine corn. needs washed. We got corn. Some. Not like we were um. planning on. <laughs> Oh, is this the field that's got two different types of stuff on it then? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the harvest we just did. No, I'm talking about the fields. None of our fields should be more than one crop to a field. I hear uh, our truck. What? No, I hear you with the tractor. Okay. Although it does have a jaybreak. I noticed. Did we not get a grain head and header trailer for the second combine? I'm guessing uh, we did okay. not yet. I don't think so. I can wait. I think I only so bought what we needed. So what are we doing now, kidda? I don't know. I haven't looked. It's been panic mode ever since we got on because of the time. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Enough. What do we got? Our stuff is all fertilized. Doesn't need lime. Doesn't need plowing. Doesn't need rolling. Obviously doesn't need mulched. And doesn't have stones. So our no. fields are all good to go until they are grown. Yeah. And anyway, you can't do nothing because we got the first growth on them. Right. Um, there are plenty of fields on the map that say that they are ready to harvest. If we would like to go and do mm. more of that. If there are jobs available. Oh, what was that? That was our truck getting home. Okay. Potato. They're all quite small for harvesting. Oats. Potatoes. There's, two, there's a cultivating one if you want to do cultivating. There's no... Oh... There's no grass fields to be done either. I am surprised. Huh. I am not seeing the production thing. There it is. It's on the one that looks like it's on boxes on a not... conveyor belt. Hmm. So apparently this mod is broken because I do have that set. I have the mission fix turned off. Okay. So it's broken. Yep. Oh well, never mind. Never mind. 
Let's get the truck down here. I don't think I'm going to bother washing it. So what seems interesting to you, contract-wise? Well, that's the corn. The corn one's finished, so I've had to turn it off. I say there's no bailing. There is no bailing. Um, you want to turn the other productions off if they're also out of needed supplies? Because the oil mill and sugar mill are both running something. Yeah, but they both got stuff in it. Do they? Okay. Yeah, they're not red. The dots aren't red. Good. Then never mind. All right, let's look at these contracts. Yeah. Yeah, some good cultivating jobs. Field 77, the one we just harvested of corn at the very last minute. You do 77, I can do 74. What is 74? Oh, plowing. I love plowing, you know that. I mean, what guy doesn't? I oh, know. Push yourself. Coming through. And this big red thing in here, this is our cultivator, right? The Vader stat. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's the court advisor. Oh, these that fields are doing nicely. Come on, buddy, go. Oh, I didn't tell you this, but I saw an amazing deal on a tractor on Facebook Marketplace for a running driving tractor it's a Massey Ferguson 1800 or, yeah 1800 so you wouldn't like it because it's an articulated but it was only seven grand mm. that is super cheap which of course instantly makes me think what's wrong with it <laughs> yeah. yeah is that before or after you finished drooling uh, that was after I finished drooling which Actually, only took about three and a half seconds because my, okay. my sensibilities kicked in. They're like, ah, uh, hold your horses there. One, you don't have seven grand. And even if you did, there are more important things to be buying. Two, that, if it's that, that cheap, true. if it's that cheap, what's wrong with it? Mm. If I had seven grand available, the, uh, the farm wall would be getting an engine rebuild. Yes. I would Another have it. Formal. I would have it decked professionally at a machine shop, mm. and mm. I would have them put in the very rare and thus very expensive fire crater pistons, which are f okay. uh, an upgrade piston available right. from International Harvester, which now means that they're new old stock, and there's not very many of them left. So just a set of four pistons and rings. Um, and, and gaskets right is like a little over a grand right just a question yes very easy for you does he have you had your valves hardened negative so you've got to run it on unled unleaded petrol it's the valves are factory so whatever they were from the factory I mean, is it is your vehicle diesel or petrol driven? It's it's gasoline. Okay, so we got gas. Uh -huh. Now the question, now like I say, do you do you have to add an additive into it? No. So so in theory, the, the you do actually have hardened piston, uh, hardened valves. Probably, I don't know because because that's what because that's what the older cars have to have done. Have yeah, they have to have hardened. lead added. No, no. To to run the to run older cars on uh, on unleaded, they just simply harden the valves. Not around here. We don't. We just add, put in a lead additive, and oh, we no, put in we a didn't. zinc oil additive too because they have flat tappet camshafts that will burn up if you don't have zinc in your oil. 
and modern oil doesn't come with zinc anymore. Yeah. So you have to get it as an additive. No, unfortunately, we're not allowed to do that. Do which? Uh, put a lead additive. That's a no-no. Yeah, well, we have more freedom than you do, for now. The hell contract did you grab for Field 42? I didn't. I only grabbed for it, Field... It jumped on me when I went to grab the 77, and it grabbed me 42 instead. I didn't notice. Yeah, no. Oh, well. I don't know what 42 is. Uh, a cultivating job. So I'll just okay. do it. I'll do them both. Why not? You're going to do them both. Just, just like some twins doing both. Bum, bum, bum. Don't tempt me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Japanese twins. Oh. You're bad. Uh, but I'm not much better. No. Yeah, it's be back here behind our dairy. It's one of the fields that we'd already done some work in recently. I think it was the harvest contract we did before we went up and did those two cornfields. I think it was the other cornfield or whatever that oh, was down okay. here. Well, this one, this one's hat has got withered stuff in it. The one you're plowing? I believe that. Yeah. At least this is a nice, mahoosive cultivator. I know, I've got a nice big plow. Mm, it's not as big as the cultivator, surprisingly. Actually, that's not really that surprising. Cultivators are easier to pull, so for the same horsepower, you can pull a bigger cultivator than plow. Yes, you can. Did we install the chisel plows? Like you're using a chisel plow. No. There, there is one that fits on the front. I don't believe so. So I like to use a chisel plow on the front because it, it makes me do my lines better when I'm doing... Uh, when I'm doing fields. Well, when I'm doing... Well, when I'm breaking in new fields, I should say. I've proven on back on Saskatchewan that I can do just as good with that big plow you're using right now. I think we're going to have to, by the way, start recording two episodes at a time. Why? Because otherwise it's going to be uh, two years before we can start putting episodes out to the people to watch. It's not going to be two years, no. I want to have ten episodes built up before we start releasing them. That's going to be really? a long time. Yeah, so that there's no interruptions. Because of my crazy life. Although if I quit, uh, if I quit driving truck. No, 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 no. You you keep driving trucks on shine. Uh, you need the no, extra I money. I don't anymore. Need the extra money. I'm I'm probably going to quit in the fall. Late in the fall this year, I'm probably going to quit. Because what I need is rest. By the time we hit late fall. I'll have all but one credit card paid off, and that's the one that I use. So it has a revolving balance. So there is no paying that off. And my one of my loans will be paid off. Basically, everything that needs to be paid off for me to be in a better financial state will be paid off by, okay. like, August, September. So I'll probably run through until it starts snowing, maybe. So maybe around Christmas time, early winter. I thought, but I thought you were doing it because I thought you wanted to upgrade your uh, certificate? No, no, this has nothing to do with that. To do that, I would need to buy my own truck. Ah, uh, fair enough. 
and that's just not in the financial future at the moment. That's years away. Unless somebody wants to give me a screaming hot deal, or I get it where I can make payments. Of course, if I do that, then I do have to keep driving, but I that's not going to happen. You know, just do what makes what makes you happy. Right now, what makes me happy would be to have my weekends back. Okay. So, as soon as I'm in a good financial state, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to quit driving. Getting the last two years worth of raises to where I'm at at my main job has helped with that a lot, so... I am... Really, I could quit driving truck right now and be completely okay. But, uh... It would be... tight. I thought you, enjoy I thought you enjoyed it. I do, but I enjoy having free time more. Okay. If it was something that I could do completely on my own schedule, that would be different. Like if I did own my own truck and I could go out in evenings and take a short run that stays here in Michigan, that would be a different story. Hmm. Or go out for just a Saturday or just a Sunday instead of the whole weekend. And... and you know, that would be fun. Going to New York and back all the time gets kind of old. Don't you think of down south somewhere? I do occasionally. Like, like Idaho or... Idaho's not south, that's west. Well... <laughs> that's a long ways west. There's no way I could do that in a weekend. Right. Um... I go to a, I've gone to a place in Indiana. I've gone to a place in Ohio. Um, maybe even two places in Ohio. I can't remember for sure. Milwaukee? Gone to a place in Tennessee and a place in Missouri. Oh, so he's quite 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 far down south. I mean that that's pretty far. Not really. It's closer to get to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, than it is to uh, go out to Louisville, New York. Oh, okay by a couple of hours of driving. And how many interstates is that? Uh, depends on where I get loaded at. Hmm. Two or three. Also depends on the route I take, of course. If I go a different route, it might be a fourth. Okay. All depends Fair on enough. what's going on traffic-wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, uh, out to, like, five different places in Wisconsin that I've been to, like, once each, except for Beaver Dam. Uh, the craft plant in Beaver Dam, I've been there twice. Do you get to see the beavers? No. No, I don't even get to see the dam. Oh, that's not <laughs> good. What's up, Diesel Boy? Hi. Hey, Cavalier Roy, nice to see you again, oh. and thank you for the like, Chris. Yes, thank you, Chris. Appreciate it, buddy. And how is Roy tonight? You'll probably, you'll probably come up onto your stream. And then you'll probably chat on your stream. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm doing good, Roy. Uh, just chitter-chatting here with Richard about life and plans and whatnot. Yeah. How are you doing uh, in terms of the map-making world? I can't remember who I heard it from, but I heard that you might not be doing any more FS22 maps that you're gonna might be doing your next map for the next game only <laughs> he's got both of us on the go
Yeah, he's doing what I do when I watch you and Chris racing. Put you both up and mute one of you. Yeah. I did. I did pretty well on the on think on the last race. I did. I, I did quit pretty well because I had a decent car, but the rest of the cars, they just didn't pan out for me. Okay, so you are you are holding off until next FS. Got it. That makes sense. That way you can get in early. Yeah. <clears throat> I think, without saying anything, I mean, I take it this one's going to be a... Uh, for the next one. You're going to just see what they're going to do and probably just put this one up. Ooh, a 4X map. Nice. Well, um, I mean, there's your maps are always good. Obviously, I've put a number of them on my MP server here. Plus, played some on my, you know, single-player Let's Plays. Um, so, take that as the compliment that it is. Um, well, Roy, yeah, well, Roy says FS25, so that's going to be next year. Well, in, in theory, that would be this November. They would release it. Just like they did FS22 in November of 21. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's going to be a stiff competition between Roy's next map and uh, Ola Haldor's uh, Stern, which is his going to be his next map, as to which map we put on for our first FS25 MP map. Remember, Roy, no hedges and no gates, and I'm all good. <laughs> Lots of fields. Or the ability to take them out like we did on this one. Well, this one had... what well, you took them out, did you? Oh, yeah. On this one. Yeah. Every field on this one had a hedge around it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Cut down a post at the shop with the chainsaw, uh, and well, they all yeah. go away. As I say, I'm not really a fan of hedges and what you call it. That's why I do like American maps. I don't mind hedges on a single-player server, but the lag on a multiplayer server can just make them a bear. Well, the next question is, I wonder what they're going to do with, socket, uh, with slot size. Um, well, slots are going to be vastly different because they're not going to do old gen consoles. They're going to only do current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we we they did say that some of the stuff was going to be lower slots, but some of it turned out to be higher, and they did lower the amount of slots we were allowed. Oh, if you do me a special one with just one farm, and I'll have the 500 fields. Thank you very much. Make sure you're <laughs> nice and big. I'll be happy with that. Uh, I don't need the other 20, 20 odd farms. That'll keep me going for a bit. Just make sure the farm's uh, in the middle. You know, put all the uh, stuff around it. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. So. Okay, big boy, you... just a minute. No, I did that time already, is it? It is after 8 o'clock. Yes, I know. I did tell you to come on a little bit later. Because my clocks have not. Well, the good news is then. Uh, next month, April. I'm off for a week. Ooh, so we can play lots of FS22 and do recordings. Yeah. Whatever amount of time your lady lets you have. <laughs> yeah. The only time I won't be available will probably be on my birthday. Which is which day again? Uh, probably a Saturday. I meant the number, sir. Oh, no, sorry. Not giving that information out, that is top priority. Okay, top so it'll be the fifth. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Same day as the Queen's. Well, our late Queen, I should say. I, like, I would know that. Exactly. But I could look <laughs> it up very easily. Okay. Just her official one. Not the... Not the not the trip and the colour one in May. No, her her official birthday. She has two. You're funny. No, she does. She has two. She has her official one, and then she has one which is called Troop in the Colour. Yes, just a minute there, kids. Just a minute. I know. They're all asking now. Because once one oh. starts asking, they all are like, oh, it's that time? Yeah, we'll go. Chill out, kids. Just chill out for a minute, please. I don't find it where I am now. I'm lost. Oh, okay. That's putting it mildly. Uh, no, I'm always lost. You know that. <laughs> Even with a sat nav, I'll probably end up in the sea. I mean, my left and my right are terrible. But one's not a real birthday, though, Roy. There's her birthday, and then there's a celebration. Yeah. I'll take it. I mean, if the, uh, like, like it says, if you're going to go for, for, for X, I'm sure the PlayStation 5 could actually hold it but i think that uh the next one will be aimed at the playstation pro no they're going to keep the five the regular five um yeah, in, in fact in fact here's a little inside information and i will not admit to where i've gotten this from giants has already tested a 16x map on the playstation 5 and it works just fine the only reason that they didn't put it out for consoles with FS22 is because it would then try, people would try to run it on the old gen consoles where it doesn't work. So if they will take a 16x map on console for PS5, it'll definitely handle a 4 for obvious reasons. It's a quarter the size. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember when I, I, I remember when that uh, one for the PlayStation came down, but you couldn't save from it. Yeah, the 4X almost worked on the old consoles. Almost. It was... It, it worked, except for the save, right? So... Yeah. Yeah. I just like loads of fields. I like, I like lots of different opportunities to do stuff. Plus, right. I'm a bit of a... I'm, I'm a bit of a, a mod hoarder as well. I like to try new mods very quickly. That's why you need to start using that FSG mod assistant, my friend. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go take these dogs out, but I'm not going to put my hold screen up this time. I'm just going to leave you guys, <clears throat> pardon me, watching the uh, AI worker do the re this other field. All right, be back in a bit. Wow, really? That's gonna be. I'd, I'd, I'd love to. I'd like, I'd like to know how you're gonna uh, incorporate them. I suppose. I suppose, because that'll be quite uh, a feat, especially Ebony Island. Yeah. He's gone to. He's 
He's gone to let the dogs water as they. Fair enough. Nice. At least we're making a bit of cash. Not overly much, but a little bit. Although there's no... I'll take those two jobs. Okay, top left corner will be the maple. Uh, top right, river view. Okay, okay. Directly below. Okay, so we're going to go four corners and then Ebony Island in the middle. I'll take it. Which means you'd be a map short. But wouldn't it be nice if you could link them all together? So that means you could then go from the Maypole over to Riverview to do some contracts, then down to, wow, uh, that will be absolutely mayhem. Ah, uh, yeah. Both together. Okay, they are both together. Okay, you're going to have them in each of the corners. Well, fair enough. As I say, without uh, HMG here, uh, he's not, he's, he's the conversationist. I get lost for words. <laughs> and, uh... Okay. So that means you, that means you got to teleport across then. So you can't say, go from or you're going to blend it in to, from the edge, you see, so you can actually go from one, one, well, one map uh, to another map. Ah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh oh. I've just been kicked. Yes, I've been kicked. There we go. We're, we got this again. It's all right. We just FS22 seems to be kicking us. For some known reason. Okay, with dirt roads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds it sounds like an interesting plan, Roy. It really does. I just hope you can pull it off. Uh, and and of course that'll be for PC only. Understandable.
yeah, all right. He'll get back and he'll start. Uh, he'll be going. What the hell? Oh, the look at that. Isn't that great, eh? I bet it is. It's a it's a very ambitious. Even though you've got your uh, your maps already done, do you have to copy the maps or can you import them across? So that'll give you a starting point, and then you'd have to then blend in. According to this, I'm actually here. Yeah. Here we go. It's these two fields here. Oh, no, not lost connection again. I was waiting for you, yep. Afraid so. Oh, that's good, Roy. That's that's nice to know. That's nice to know. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you give the news to uh, to Heavy Metal Gaming. Oh, does Roy have some good news? <laughs> He's got an ambitious project. Don't we all? <laughs> no, this one's quite ambitious. I can see it's going to be a big map. Yeah, I bet they are. You're going to have to find a uh, a bit of a plane between them, Roy. Or just or just go or just put a high one in one end and try and get the next highest one at the other end and then go low. Right that way. Okay. Uh you won't be the first person to do that, Roy. Um, there are two mappers who've done that before you that I know of. One of them is Kaz64. He actually made a 16x map by putting four 4x maps together in one. Um, all his maps, but... Uh, and then Large H Mapping did it, and it wasn't successful. Um, so I should say more accurately he tried to do it. He got it most of the way there, but his maps all had some issues anyway, like his maps, uh, um, what am I trying to say here, uh, had edges where the edge of the map and the world beyond the map were not on the same plane, on the same physical plane. So there was like a huge drop off from the edge of the map down to the exterior part of the map. Oh, um, I know what you mean. Yeah, I've, I've seen those. I've seen those. And in one spot, his map border had a bug in it, and there was a hole where you could drive through and drive off the map and fall down onto the exterior section of the map. Uh, I did it a couple times. 
he fixed that in an update, but those maps where the edges don't mesh correctly are terrible. And when he tried to put his four maps together, he couldn't get them to line up there either. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm sure there are other people who have done it, but those are the two that I've seen. Sometimes yeah. it requires a little uh, changing the edges of the maps to mesh with each other, shall we say. <laughs> you mean jiggery-pokery. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Some contortions. <laughs> but I look forward to it, Roy. I do. I, I've enjoyed all of your maps that I've played, so having them all together as one map, that'd be a blast. That might be an option for a future version of the series that Richard and I are recording right now. <laughs> so... The dogs and the pooches, okay? Oh, yeah, but I'm a little worn out. Uh, you have to go and check them. Well, I'll explain in that here in a minute. Um, while they were outside, I put my bedding for going out in the truck into the dryer because I had to wash it. Um, it's just been sitting there unwashed since the last time I was out two weeks ago. Whoops. Mm. <laughs> kind of forgot about it. Um, so that was in the washing machine, and I moved it to the dryer, and then I put a load of clothes in the washing machine, uh, uh -huh. just so that they don't get forgotten about. And, uh, when I came back upstairs to check on Miss Reese, she was out in the yard being an absolute maniac. <laughs> and I, and doing weird stuff even for her. Obviously, she's a strange dog, so she does weird stuff all the time. But this was weird for her. Which made me wonder what the hell was going on. Okay. She had a critter. I don't know what okay. it was, but she had a hold of something and she was playing with it. Just hope it wasn't a hedgehog? It wasn't dead, though. Oh, a hedgehog's not no, the no, problem. No. A uh, porcupine would be the problem. Thankfully, yes. we don't get those in the city. Um, but it could have been a raccoon. It could have been a possum. Could have been a squirrel. It's a little early and cold yet for snakes. But yeah, I have no idea what she got a hold of. Um, I just saw her tossing around, but I went out there, bolted out there chasing after her, yelling at her to drop it, and she came to me, and when I got to where she had it at, it was gone. And it's dark mm. enough that I just couldn't see it yeah. leave. Could have been a bunny rabbit, too, for all I know. But whatever it was, she didn't kill it. No, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just like to play with them. Got it, Roy. That makes sense. Well, I'm looking forward to it, my friend. Seriously, with the disconnection again? Yes. I might have to, uh, whoops, I might have to contact uh, G Portal and have them move us to a different physical server if this keeps happening. Mm hmm. Because it's not that, it, 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 when you try go, when you try and look for your, uh, for your Wacol, it's, it's not there. Yeah, it's crashing. It's got to be. Except that it can't be at the same time because it's, it tracks the uptime. I'm going to look right now. Wouldn't this be a, a, a good opportunity to get rid of that uh, mod? What mod? The one they said that's not working. I don't know what you're talking about. The one where we're supposed to get all the grain. Oh, it's not working for that, but it's working for everything else. I'm not getting rid of oh. it. It, oh, does, okay. it does a Sorry. bunch of things. Um, oh, fair enough. 
Oh. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Well, the G Portal website's not even responding. No, that's definitely not good. Okay, now that's up. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I'm into our game. It says uptime, one hour, eight minutes, which was when we restarted it. So there's G Portal's having network problems, is what it is. Mm. Their, their website wasn't down, we just couldn't reach it because of the uh, connectivity. Uh, but to say, it's not my connectivity. I think I, I've got good connectivity tonight. Yeah, this isn't a Steam issue, Roy, but I, I get what you're saying. This is, in particular, a G Portal issue because it's affecting the G Portal website, too. It, so it's got to be a network issue, either at G Portal or somewhere between the server and us. It's hard to say which without doing a bunch of diagnostics that I don't really feel like doing. <laughs> but it is why I'm leaving the worker just going instead of me taking over and driving the tractor. Um... Although I might have to change that. Oh, never mind. There it goes. It's just having trouble loading in. All right. I'm going to tab out, so you're going to lose sound. I am going to run some tests. Oh, let's see. I need this utility. And good morning to George. Didn't see you there, George. Uh, we were just having fun with our uh, connection issues. <laughs> good morning, George. And George is going to tell me that he says, morning, you old crones. <laughs> And I'll take it, George is going to Thanks, tell Roy. Me you that. have a good night, too, my friend. Yeah, you, you take it easy. Yeah. Good night, Roy. Thanks for dropping by, bud. Okay, so the problem is at a network device in Chicago from Equinix.com. It is dropping some of its connections. Not all, but okay. some. Wonderful jerks fix your garbage it's so funny how the internet routes things sometimes i'm going west to go east because the server mm. is in washington dc so it's going to chicago first and then bouncing over to to washington dc but that doesn't explain why you're getting the same connection issues because your connection should not be going through Chicago. It should be going through New York, across the transatlantic cables to New York, and then down from New York to D.C. And there is a direct connection between New York and D.C., so you wouldn't be bouncing oddly like me. Uh, In sorry, theory. Sorry. Unless something's down there. That might actually be why Equinix is having problems is their device might be overloaded because there's a problem somewhere else where something is just down completely. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. Mm -hmm. we, we just don't know. No. But we sold your own. Yes. Oh, it's going to rain in the game. That's all right. I'm only plowing. <laughs> Little oh, man, you. be nice. You do not get to have the entire big dog bed to yourself. <laughs> you can fit ten of you on that dog bed. Or one of you plus all three big dogs and still have room. So quit being a grump. Reese is allowed to lay on that bed also. Don't you Maybe. growl at me. Do you need to go downstairs and go in your room? Don't look at me like that. There you go. Thank you. Yes, you lay in the corner of the bed and let the big dog share with you. Grumpy old fucker. <laughs> Reese, get your nose out of his butt. Leave him alone. 
I know it's like our dog. I mean, I don't know how much. I don't know how our dog can take up all the entire room, or the entire bed. And I'm like on the edge. Try having four. <laughs> no, one's enough. Anyway, my wife can barely walk as it is. Oh look, your contract is finished. Yeah, I think it is. I was close it, enough to it, it. It just said it was, so. Yeah. How many have you done? Uh, two. And you're on a third? I'm on a third. You're a turd? <laughs> because, guess what? What? They're next to each other. Cool. What if I was to sign you up for Field 104? Would you be happy with that? Yeah, yeah, sign me up. I don't mind. I was, I, I just picked the big, the big numbers. You know me. I'm always happy. Uh -huh. Be happy. Don't, Don't worry. worry. Be, Be happy. happy. Yeah. Be happy now. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So field 40 with corn. So field 74 with soybeans. So field 83 with corn. Yeah, but they're all very low. I mean, it's not even worth going, going up there. For eight grand? I would do it for eight grand. Oh, eight grand. No, that's different. That's different. I mean, I mean the ones that are like one. No, I'm there's six. Seventy-two hundred. There's one that's six thousand, one that's seventy-two hundred, and one that's eight thousand. Oh. Anyway, I'm playing, and it's gonna rain. Yeah, I mentioned that. <laughs> I do love this tractor. So, so how quick is twenty? Is times ten? Are we on times ten? No, we're on five. No, the other one. So, oh yes, I'm... ten is ten minutes in game for every one minute in real life. So it'll take two hours and forty minutes to get through an entire game day. So basically, wow. just over two and a half hours to do an entire okay. game day at 10x. Okay. We can't go any faster than that because then by the time we've done some it's, it's you know, it's Well, you just have to be used to not doing 50 jobs in a single day. You have to keep your number of jobs more realistic. Oh, I do. I do. I was just... Um, ideally, we would be at 12x. Because then it would be exactly two hours to do a 24-hour game day. Okay. Except that we're not oh, trying to do a 24-hour game day because we don't go overnight. So, no. once it's dark, we sleep. Yes. We, we, we decided it was 8 o'clock. Yeah. Ish. <laughs> it should stay about that same time. All right. Yeah. Hey, Diesel, go lay down. Now be good. So at 10x, that's 14 hours of game day. We should be able to do that in an hour and 40 minutes. No, we'll keep it at 12. Uh, we don't have 12. We have 10. Yeah, but I mean, you can put it up to 12. No, you can't. Really? Yeah, it goes from 10 to... 16, I think. I don't remember oh, for sure. I'd have to... Well, here. Let's test it. Oh, yeah. I've been booted out, so I'm not admin again. Okay, so there's 10. Yeah, 15. Goes from 10 to 15. So okay. there, there is nothing in between there. Okay, we'll just keep it on 10, then. Yeah. I mean, that's good enough. Hour and 40 minutes, that means if we have... Uh, about three and a half hours, we can do two episodes worth of recording in one sitting. Mm -hmm. Might as well call it four hours. That way we can take a short break to go to the bathroom, deal with dogs, etc. Between. You mean you? You mean well, you? Yes, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you three looking at me like that? Lay down and be good, please. 
you mentioned bathroom. No, they were already. You're okay, Diesel. You're not in trouble or anything, buddy. What's the matter? You have food. You have water. Unless you just drank it all, in which case you don't need more at the moment. <laughs> Asshole. Asshole, I love you. You're a good, handsome boy, aren't you? He's like, I'm not an asshole, Dad. I'm okay. an ox. Let's have a look. So I've got uh, Stop. Chris and George talk to me. How rude. Neither one of them came to say hi to me. Oh, well, that's not true. Chris said hi way back at 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, that, but that was still on theirs. Doing, doing theirs on FS22 on one of the... Uh... Have a look. The Zilonka. Chris, Chris is going woof woof. <laughs> Smart ass. Better than. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't like that, Diesel? Okay, Daddy won't do that again. You're a good boy. <laughs> You're a good boy. Yes. Yeah. So look. Okay, European Sunday Cup 500 Japanese. D Cup Diesel 500. thinks I'm nuts. I, I made that. Uh, <laughs> hi guys. Oh, <laughs> I, I made that uh, that noise and uh, Diesel. He came to uh, see if I was mentally ill. I mean, he put his face right up in my face and stared me straight in the eye like, "Are you okay, Dad?" <laughs> Are you mental, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. George has given me the list now, and I can see one car I'm going to have problems with. Oh, we yeah? Don't have the car. I don't have the car. Well, that's no bueno. Yeah. Okay, so... It, it's going to be the... Well, they say Plymouth Superbird, which technically is a Dodge Charger. Eh, sort of. They're similar. Uh, it's a Dutch Charger with uh, with its front nose changed and, and all that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Super Birdie. But give me a it, Charger it any mainly, day. It was mainly used for, uh, for Daytona. But yeah, i got to find it. So thanks, George. Thanks for that. And then we've got, uh, let's see, it's one maker turbo course. Oh, and a Neo Classic competition. Oh, that's going to be good. Uh, at least I took out the 900s or the 700s. All right. There's that done. I get to grab our big old Kinza planter. Oh yeah, are you planting, are you? Two fields of corn and one of soybean. Ah, oh, okay. Was that why they were expensive? Because I thought they were harvesting ones. No, no, no. Planting, sowing. Well, at least we got enough uh, enough seed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm going to drive over to the awkward pile that we have at the corner of the fields and fill up. Yeah. I think, do you have to unload, or, or, do you have to uh, unfold it first? Shouldn't. Thank you, George. Thank you. Yes, they know that I am mentally ill. You are correct. because I put up with them. <laughs> well, you wanted them. You bought them. I didn't actually want Diesel at first, but when the little woman says, we gotta get him, you don't argue. Mm, just saying. Well... We got, we got a dog and 
two geese, no, two ducks and a uh, and a and a rabbit. When the uh, hell did you get a rabbit? Well, I didn't. The her son and uh, and, and his girlfriend, who's now pregnant, got it, and I'm going to be very, very out my comfort zone. Why is that? Artistic. So, what part of it? I mean, change, crying, uh, feel like that I'm, I'm losing my uh, control, your grip on reality, all of the above. No, I'm just your home. No, I don't have a home. This was never my home. No, I mean, it's complicated. Life is complicated, my friend. Yeah. It just feels like that's, uh, you know, all, all the things I, I, I'm going to do, I can't, and then it's all going to go to a head. Where my brain... Oh, wow, that's a lot of sewing contracts. Only three. Well, you still got two. You still got two cultivating contracts to do as well. Oh, there is a plan. One o, one o four. Where's one o four? Should be nearby. Oh yeah, it is nearby. And there are a it's bunch more of those. It's down it's... the other end of the map. Is it really? That's funny. With you being on 101, I thought 104 would be no more than three fields away. <laughs> Believe it or not, Roy's not like that. He, I don't know how he does the numbers, but they just, I mean, if you look, they don't really go in any specific order. Uh, they, they're kind of clustered together in groups. Yeah. Rabbit stew. Oh, apparently this is, this is a house rabbit. That doesn't mean they can't be turned into rabbit stew. Yeah, no, I'm just saying this is a house rabbit, so it's not outside. It's in, it's in their bedroom, so we're gonna, so that's gotta be moved downstairs at some point. So I gotta go and see my sister. She she always puts me right. Well, I mean, I'm, if if that's what works for you, then do it. Yeah, she always puts me right. She always sees me. My no, sisters it's... and I would kill each other instead. <laughs> uh, nah, she's all right. In small doses. But I know she's there when I need her. When, I'm, when I have problems. Because... I need see I am my own worst enemy well most of us are in case you didn't know that yeah, yeah. no I just tell people the truth and like it doesn't work mm. I also tell people the truth. <laughs> so I know exactly what you mean. But I'm of the opinion if they don't like it, too damn bad. They don't have to be around me. Uh, most of the time it gets me into trouble. I don't... The thing is, I don't care if it gets me into trouble. Especially in my own house. <laughs> it's my house. Not your house. My house. Oh, summer's finished. He's not finished. He's just getting started. That was just his, oh, I got there. I got to the field. Okay. Now he should be getting started on actually cultivating it. The beauties of auto drive and course play working together. That is true. When um, they do work, I'm... they are amazing. 
I'm happy with course play. I know how to I know how to work that. Well, I think you could learn auto drive too. The auto drive window has this little button that looks like the course play icon. And what that does is says activate the loaded course play course when you get to the destination. So mm. I tell it to go to the field and click that button. Uh, which means you already have to have created a, a the setup in course play ahead of time. Of course. Of course. Um, but then it just turns it on when it gets there, and lo and behold, everything is automated, assuming that it doesn't crash into a building or a tree or one of us when we're driving down the road past it or, you know, any of the above. Yeah. <clears throat> hey trucker Matsy. thanks for stopping by and performing a raid <laughs> how's your friend your train friend mm, which one the one that plays this also? Well, yeah. Uh, he, uh... Must be working tonight because I sent him a message and asked him if he was available. He said no. Okay. Yeah, hopefully Nightbot doesn't come along and smack you there, Matsy. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the And there it goes. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the caps. Although, I don't know how to work that night, but... Does that say 5 Gen Farms? Hello and welcome. Based on that name, you must be a farmer in real life, I would think. As in 5th generation farmer? Yep. Yeah. And if so, thank you and your family for putting food on my table. <laughs> yes. Or whatever, the Maybe. table of whoever country you're in, that is. Yeah, although for us, all our farmland has been used for, for, uh, to build houses on. Yeah, how's we that going to work it. for you <laughs> in the future? Yeah. Well, we are... This, well... Believe it or not, this country can't sustain the growth of the population. I do believe that. It'll get to the point where there'll be no countryside. It'll all be city. Mm-hmm. Like Coruscant from uh, Star Wars. One giant city, yeah. the entire planet. Yeah. Uh, Wisconsin, huh? I I know Wisconsin very well. Um, I drive truck, and I used to work for Viria Trucking out of uh, um, Marinette, Wisconsin. And I drive truck for a Michigan company now, only on the weekends. Uh, but I go to Beaver Dam, I go to Appleton. Um, can't remember the name of the other couple of towns. Anywhere there's a foremost farms dairy at, we go to. Anywhere there's a craft at, that's Beaver Dam, we go to. I haul milk, specifically finished milk products. So condensed skim milk or uh, sweet cream. So yeah, I, I know Wisconsin pretty well. Okay, yep. When I drove for Viria, I would go to that side of the state a lot. Not anymore. <laughs> um, in fact, one of my very first jobs with Viria was actually over in Minnesota. They sent me to this tiny place to get loaded after getting unloaded at a Walmart. Uh, 
to where I had to back in off the street, and it was literally my first trip out as a solo driver after my training. And super tight back off of a side street in a town. I took pictures because I did it without hitting anything. I was pretty proud of myself. I mean, I expected to do it without hitting anything, but I, I guess it would be more accurate to say I did it first try without hitting anything. I just did what you should always do in tight quarters. I took my time. I was patient. I paid attention to both mirrors. I got out and looked every now and then to make sure. I did all the things. But it was so tight of a squeeze that a, uh, another driver that came after I was already in the dock, and they wanted him in the dock next to me, told them that he was going to wait until I was done because it was too tight for him to get in safely. You know, it's one of those places that was designed for a 40 or 45 foot trailer, not for a 53 foot with a big sleeper truck. Uh, Chris just says that he gives his auto job and he tells him to do it himself. Well, that's a yeah, long that's... time, my man. That's a long time <laughs> to work commercial grocery. <laughs> 30 years. Woof. Uh, and yeah, this wasn't a... Uh... A store, though. This was a small factory. I don't know what it was exactly they put in the trailer. It was something metal. They did metal working there. Yeah, that's pretty impressive still. <laughs> George, I'll cut and paste it and I'll show it to him once I've finished here. Steggy! I saw your short little video about making a gamer cry, or a grown man cry. In my head, I put Gamer in there instead. <laughs> that was a nice thing you guys did. I love this community. All right, what's my next field? I can do 40 or 74. Looks like 74 is gonna be the closer one. I, I love how everyone uh, on his stream was uh, talking about how you're a bean pole. <laughs> I'll take it he's tall and skinny yeah I would say tall and average yeah because that's why I used to be called because I was tall and skinny how tall are you stag Tree, bean pole. There were a few different things thrown around during that stream. 6'3, yeah. So you got about three and a half inches on me then. And I've got two and a half inches on him.
six three, and I would guess between a buck sixty and a buck eighty. Of course, it's hard to tell on camera. Okay, so I was pretty close then. He says 189. That would be pounds for you British folks. <laughs> I have no idea what that would be in kilos, and I don't care. <laughs> what, 189 pounds? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty thin. For six foot three? That's a yeah. good weight, I think. I mean, I, I come in at... 265 I'm about 260 right now so I'm I'm a little rotund <laughs> I'm a bit I do I do have a spare tire <laughs> yeah but you're 10 inches taller than me almost <laughs> yes I do have a little height I wouldn't call that underweight stag I would call that pretty healthy yeah Definitely, definitely healthy, yeah. I mean, I mean, bloody hell. I mean, I weighed 75 kilos at one point, or just under 70 kilos, and I was, I looked like an escaped Ethiopian. <laughs> That's funny. Escaped Ethiopian. Goodness. Chris. Chris is saying he weighs 13 and a half, st 13 and a half tons. <laughs> I would believe stone more than tons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's an ancient British unit of measurement for weight. Come on now. Well, well we still have to use both, you see, because we still got the, uh, we still got people from the Second World War still alive, so. Uh, I don't know, Steggy. Can you? <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to. Here we go. I'm going to do it now, George. Your your lady might have a problem with that, unless something has happened there that I haven't heard of, since you and I never have time to talk anymore. Okay, okay that's your video. Right, let's get to... Oh, dogs. Really? What? There's one guffed. Yep. <clears throat> wow. My eyes are watering. It's so bad. Oh, my goodness. Um... I tell you, they just want to kill me. Okay, George, I'll save the image. I'm just going to send it over to... I can tell that I'm used to the next size down of this Kinza planter. Because I every time I think I have it lined up good, I've got to adjust it because uh, it's longer. <laughs> Chris says he's 85, just over, say, 86 kilos. And I've sent it to him, George. So Chris is a little on the chubby side. Yeah, for f yeah for five foot one. Yeah, he is. It's a little dwarf. <laughs> little dwarf. That's funny. Yeah. If you're getting mad, he looks like a bulldog swallowing a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one I've never heard before. <laughs> a bulldog swallowing a wasp. That'd be that would be entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Just run over the neighbor's crop. <laughs> uh, he said he's he said he's five foot ten. Okay, so that's with his Gary Glitter boots on. <laughs> so he's an in, inch and a half shorter than I am. Wow, I screwed that up bad 
I've already been down this part. What am I doing? I'm getting tired, okay. that's what I'm doing. <laughs> what we doing there, Kira? Uh, I'm finishing this field and calling it a night, I think. Yeah, thought you might do. I've put my plow away. I've sent you a, uh, uh, I've sent you a picture. On the old Discord, I assume? Uh, correct. All right, let me go check that real quick. <laughs> yep. Love the, the tractor choice in that one. That's a good set of tractors right there. <laughs> Yeah, they're all John Deere's. I mean, that was the the farm they're on. And it's uh, it's technically it's all John Deere tractors they're using. Got it. Except for that one Massey. That's really a red Landini. Yeah, and also don't forget they're on console. Uh huh. Which means that on multiplayer they can't actually use the. One that can be painted as a Landini because it's not set up for multiplayer. It's perfectly yeah. multiplayer compatible. The guy literally just didn't add the flag to make it multiplayer. There's a you have to say multiplayer enabled or yes or something like that. I forget exactly what the the syntax is in the uh, mod description file. And uh, if you don't do it, it's not multiplayer compatible. Oh, sorry. It, he's saying it, 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 it's his own solo map. Ah, then it probably oh, wow. is the one that uh, can be turned into a Landini. Yeah, so I thought it was on the uh, the Chris and George uh, show. Or as I call it, the Morecambe and Y show. You know, I gotta start using the uh, the raid feature. I always forget. Ever since they added it to YouTube, I always forget to do it when I finish streaming. Right? Yeah, where you can go to another channel that's streaming when you're done, and uh, all of your viewers will go with you and go to that channel. It's a thing that Twitch has done for years. Oh uh, yeah. And. Um, YouTube only recently added it a few months ago, I think. And mm. uh, I enabled it for my channel. That's how Trucker Matsy was able to bring his group over to here. Um, Hello. But uh, I always forget to return the favor. I just mm. need to develop better habits. <laughs> because, yeah. you know, if people are doing it for me, it's kind of rude not to do it back whenever I can. Yeah, of course. And I don't like being intentionally rude, unless no. somebody is being really dumb. Uh, like, uh, what is that thing that uh, they quote? I was rude, but I was rude to an idiot. Hmm. <laughs> it's from some movie. Well, I may be doing a multiplayer on Wednesday. Oh? Or... EST. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did one a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, although the other person said he, he couldn't join because he weren't feeling too well, so I thought, that's fine, no worries. So I'm doing, I'm going to try again. So, this Wednesday. Lady Metal has expressed interest in potentially getting Far Cry 6 and playing that multiplayer with me. That's nice. I'm, I'm usually on my own on that, because i got, I got no friends. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be able to join us at the time we would be playing on Sunday, so... No. Sunday? Sunday? Oh, yeah, because I'm at work and, and that. And you'll probably be playing during the day. Correct. Yeah, that's fine. 
just that I don't think just that you're going to have to do the first island yourself. I think it's a bit further down the line where it turns into a multiplayer. Oh yeah, just like New Dawn, where you got to go through basically the tutorial part of the game, yeah. which is fine. Well, I'm lucky because my PlayStation and my PC are both linked, so when I picked up some decent guns from the console version, I, I can move them across. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that was something that they had added to that. Uh, especially when, yeah, because I got the money to buy some guns, and I used that money to buy the one of the best sniper rifles you can get, which is the Alpha Wolf. Oh, well, you know me. You've watched me play enough Far Cry. <laughs> I love yes, my sniper oh, yeah. rifles. Yes, so do I. So do I. I'm pretty. I'm pretty decent. Uh, as I say, that's why I've got all my new stuff now. Uh, and also, what you will need a lot of is gunpowder. Yeah, I believe that. Okay, work's finished. It's popped up on my white coat. Uh, number feels 74 is finished. Mm, it says 82% not finished. At least for me. That's the one I'm doing right now with the uh, planter. Oh, yeah, it does. Well, I'm going to head off to bed myself now, so I'm going to say to everybody, thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you enjoy our series with me and Heavy Metal Gaming, and I will see you all on Monday. And I will talk to George maybe tomorrow night or over the weekend. We'll see how it goes. So take it all. He does. And enjoy your night. Take care. Good night. Have a good night, buddy. Don't forget you're still on audio for my stream. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we're we're so used to just chatting afterwards. <laughs> yes. I'll go do one thing at a time. Alright, where am I at? There I am. My eyes are getting tired and blurry enough that I'm having a hard time seeing where I've been and where I haven't been on this field. That's when you know it's time to uh quit streaming and go to bed, you hoser. Yeah, go to bed, you, you, you hoser, because I am. Good night. <laughs> Good night, buddy. <laughs> All right. Collect that one up. Field 40 for the next stream. But I think for now I'm just gonna pull up here and park on the grass by the side of the road. So speaking of that raid feature, I don't even know how to do it. Isn't that bad? <laughs> so how do I send you guys all over to somebody else's stream if I would was to want to do so? Assuming anybody that I subscribe to is actually going, which they are not. Of course, maybe one of you guys can suggest a channel for me to send everyone to. As well as telling me how to do it.
Live redirects. So it was two years ago that they added? Wow. Crazy. I can't believe that's true. Two years ago. Wow. Well, I'm going to learn how to do this off stream at some point, and uh, that way I can do it for the future. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and as always, I will see you on the next one.